All right, I'm going to have to try to get a look over here at this other side, man, but I really can't see it. You kind of get a little uh, a little glimpse. There's a bunch of pink, really bright pink. Uh, there's in the pink window. Actually, it's still freaking... This makes me think of... Don't muzzle the ox that treadeth the corn. Oh, yeah. It's definitely some spookies. Yeah, oh yeah. It's like a very like odd man, Twilight Zone ish uh, type of a freaking like skyscape these days, man. I can look at that those you can see those frequency, those scalar pattern and pattern and then going oh look, look at this archy thing right here. You see it? Almost looks like a bow. Oh, bird flies by. Yeah, there's some. Oh, look right there. It's kind of a triangular looking thing. Almost like a triangular shit. Ooh, look. A few more go by. Hey? They always show up. Like, I don't know, for some reason. I think they hear the sound of my voice. And they come check out and see, investigate. Look. I think freaking something up in there. It's something like that, because listen, you know, on a side note, you know, because Sky Watch, you know, Prophecy Watch, all that. You know, you'll see a lot of birds in the process. So you're kind of an amateur bird watcher just by sky watching. Uh, and, oh, look, there goes a bird. That's flaps weird. Flaps a lot. Oh, it might even almost be a almost fl flew like a bat. But anyway, yeah, man, birds are very like they they can remember sounds and harmonies and tones and all that, dude. And like they can recognize voices. And crows can even like remember a face and pass it on genetically, like a hundred monkey uh type of uh like uh thing, hundredth monkey syndrome. Like, and I think there is that effect that's going on in people. So the more people that <coughs> start to do right, man, it kind of, like, shifts the energies around. And it helps, like, where there's blockages for others. When you endure and you do well, it kind of, in a way, changes the atmosphere ever so slightly. You know what I mean? That it actually helps, like, other people get a little bit of, get a little bit of sunlight, too. But in a way, you got to keep, you know, fighting to pierce it yourself. And then, you know, that kind of helps. So, yeah, man, this is uh, uh, not too much surprised. You know, he had a little bit of plasma ionization, a little bit of uh, scalar frequency patterning. Uh, some birds fly by, uh, some spherical looking, snaky, flying, like shapeshifter things. Uh, you know, it's just an everyday thing these days. <coughs> <coughs> A little plasma over here, a little plasma over there. I, I wish this camera had freaking a better zoom, but right up in here, there's actually you can see the the wave clouds, like uh, Illuminati Air Magic Card B. That bird just dropped a baguette. I seen that. Weird. Um. Yeah, man, freaking uh, stuff's crazy. But, you know, it's a nice, it's a good, 
it's a good hobby, like these days, because it's like there's heavy, heavy action, heavy activity to be observed and documented and analyzed, you know. And then there must be speculations and you know what I'm saying and uh, postulations about this type of stuff. Whatever it takes to get that mo them wheels turning and people thinking and them eyes open that they can see what's see it. You know what I mean? Awareness, yeah, see, right here, look. It's almost like there's little figurines kind of jumping and hopping and flying. Like little winged figurines and people running and jumping. Oh, yeah, right here, too. Like, look. Oh, yeah, man, it's like, uh, all right. Frequencies. It seems like when there's a lot of energy release, like in a volcano, I've seen this phenomena. I also seen it in 9-11 when freaking like, look, when the tower blew up, a demon flew out. But every time I watch the videos of disasters, like especially volcanoes, um, and even like 9-11, I, I, I can see these creatures like, they're almost like ethereal. And inside of the destruction, and they're like shapeshifters that fly through it, and you can see them affect stuff. Uh, uh, it kind of conforms around them, and it's like I'm wondering if, like, look, these frequencies aren't somehow like all of a sudden now a conduit to make the things visible that are actually invisible. They were always invisible, always there, maybe, but it's like somehow they can use the fucking frequencies to manifest but it's dimensional you know what i'm saying this thing ain't like a flesh and blood creature it's something different like see even looking down this thing right here it almost looks like i like snake skin like a big fucking snake like i'd be seeing the snakes everywhere in the sky and it's in the bible man the old serpent the dragon that was you know from the beginning whatever but, yeah, man, like, yeah, oh, yeah, figurines everywhere.